everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California. And today I went on a hornworm hunt, something I haven't done in a long time. But there's one left here and I wanted to pick this one with you and show you what I'm gonna do, something I've never done before. And you'll see the video on how I had to clean this plant off. But I'm curious to see what happens if I take that last hornworm Put it in the tray and see if the Orioles will eat it. Because I keep a tray of food up. Ugh, I don't have gloves. Yick. Let's get this thing over quick. Because I usually handle them with gloves only. We're going to go over here. We're going to set it on here. And this is the pizza tray I set out for the Orioles. They hang out in the trees. They come and drink all day. What are they going to do when they see a worm in there? We're going to see. Will they do something or are they not? So let's see what happens. So here's my complaint for today. I feed those Oreos there. The Oreos get food every single day, a platter of food, and they hang out here by the dozens. And they wouldn't come over here to pick off hornworms because they want to go into my garden to look for them. I just found nine hornworms on my poor Brad's atomic tomato. Look how sad it looks. Actually, it's not that sad, but I started looking and I picked off nine that are going, well, let's say they're going in the trash. They're going to the dump. They're in a plastic bag, tied up and disappearing. Nine. I'm still looking to see if there's any more. See what the damage they do? They ate the leaves. I came out here and thought, uh-uh. Interesting, they're all the same size, so it must have been one, let's say, I don't know what they call it, clutch of eggs that hatched. And for them to get this size, we have timed it once, less than two weeks. I actually see another one. So that's going to be 10. There it is. Look at that. I have searched this whole plant. 10, which I will go get my gloves and remove. When Gary's here, he takes care of him his way. When I'm here, I take care of him my way. I pay for trash pickup. They can go in the trash pickup. But this is amazing. They've got their food here. They hang out here, but only to get a drink of the sugar water, which I leave for them. And they won't come into the tomato plant here. But in the garden, where they feel more comfortable and they take baths, there they will forage and you'll see them go into the tomato plants and remove hornworms. They usually get them much smaller than that. So I've got to get that last one off. You know, it's amazing. You see it? And then you turn away, and now I don't see it. But I'll find him, because I'm not leaving till I find him. See, I don't see him now. I know he's in front of me. You probably see him, but I don't. Isn't this something? I just showed you where he was. I'm going to have to watch my own camera to see where he is. I'll see him. But I've gone through all this, and it's still throwing tons of tomatoes. Gary's got a whole bowl in the house. I know he's in front of me. As I just saw them. I hate when I stick my face in something looking and there's one in my face. But I'll find him because I'm good. There. No, that's not him. Oh my goodness. It's amazing how they, I mean, that is nature, how they blend in so well. I don't even want to touch the leaves where he is. He's under one of these leaves. I just showed you. You're all probably laughing, saying, there he, oh, there he is, there he is. And, Oh, there he is, see? See how they blend in? I mean, if I didn't mind, I would leave him, but personally, I do mind. But there he is. He's got that little tail on the end. And I have to remember he's on this leaf. See what he's done to the leaf? I'm hoping that's it, but that's 10? 10! I, I, I think I found a total of two in my garden so far this year. And the only reason was I saw a little damage. I looked around and I found them. There was nobody else. But there, the Orioles will fly in and they will actually forage in the tomato plants, but they won't do it on the deck. And they don't come that far in, not them. The other birds do. Uh, the bush tits come in. And if the bush tits see them really tiny when they first hatch, they will eat them. But they can't eat something that, they can't, they can't eat something as big as them. I'm going to go remove the last one. And hopefully that is the last one and keep an eye out on it. But look at the damage they do. 
And you know, I was so proud I didn't have any this year. I mean, you're always going to have, no matter what you do, because even the birds, by nature, cannot find everything. Or then we wouldn't have any hornworm moths. The big, beautiful moths that people do happen to like. But they can't get them all. There's always going to be something they don't get. But here, they just wouldn't even come in. Had they come in, I have seen them with great big green worms in their mouth and they just take off the big, even the mockingbirds will go in and get them. All right, well, I gotta go get gloves and remove that last one that I, again, don't see. But I'll figure it out. Oh yeah, he's right here. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna try something I've never done before. I have no gloves! I gotta pull them off. <laughs> Okay, we're going to take this off. There's one here. We're going to do this. I've never done this. This is new. And this is where, whoops, sorry about shaking you around. This is where we feed, I feed the Oreos. I'm going to put it right on top. Ugh. We're going to see, see where it is right there. We're going to see if an Oriole takes it. And we'll know for sure if they eat hornworms or not. So we'll see because they're going to come in. They're hiding out in the trees and they're going to come in and they're going to come for their sugar water. So let's go watch. I found the little one. This is the first little one I found. They may be picking off the little ones, but I'm going to sit it in the tray and see if that disappears. So there it is. You saw it firsthand with me. They are eating hornworms. Well, maybe now they'll come on the deck and they'll do their job and I won't have to be looking for their food. Have a great day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye, everybody.